All right, so let's remove the country. I don't even know what the country is doing there. It doesn't feel cool to be there. Uh, we're removing the country. All right, so um, just for a test, we're going to create a dummy account. First, the first account. So to create it, I will go to um, slash create. Enter. That is account slash create. So we're going to have to fill in this. I'll manually fill in the user ID. I think, first of all, I need to clean up this. Let's go to the um, create page. Do we need it? No, we don't need to clean up the... Okay, yeah, we need, though. Let's go to create page and look at the edit the fields on account. So you see um, a number of things. We have to remove all these fields but let me fill this first we have um id total credit let's assume that i already made 300 dollars withdrawal method uh withdrawal method is probably paypal um bank name the partner bank account bank account Brrr, some numbers some numbers and um paid nope last date paid nope um okay paid zero and the other details no other details so i'm just trying to fill up this bank balance my bank balance is 200 um debit so debit is basically how much money that um you've spent on this platform for instance, if you scan a QR code, you're spending money on this platform. That's how much you spent on the balance is how much is remaining on your account on this platform. Then credit is how much um, this platform has ever paid you. So let's say a QR code owner creates a QR code and sells goods worth of $500 at the end of the month. That is their credit. If next month they sell another $500, then their total credit will now remain, will now be $1,000. So total credit will just keep growing so that at, the, at any point in time we can know uh, which of our uh, clients or users have made the most money from the, from the platform and we can tell the users that have spent the most money but balance is how much money you currently have on the account and everything is in the same currency for now i'm using dollars so email i'm going to choose an email as if there is an email um brand branch bank branch is in los angeles I hope I got the spelling right, but who really cares? Then apply for payout. No, I've not applied. Country, country is US, USA. Um, save. Nobody ever needs to manually create an account like this. So it's just some fields that they can create. All right. So here we have an account created. Now it, it makes it easy for us to work some things. For instance, we can work the user. The user id we don't need the user id what we need is this place um on table here instead of user id we want to do something like we, we have always done we want to do user name or email user email so but this won't work because we've not created we've not mentioned this association because um one user can only have one account that is one account belongs to one user all right remember the relationship we talked about i hope you read it up on the um hope you read it up on on the documentation here if you go to eloquent error cure um orm click on relationships this is where they describe different types of relationships but one user can always have only one account and one account can always belong to only one user so the both of them have identical relationship which is one to one so if you click on one to one We'll see how to make the relationship. So a user has one phone and one phone belongs to one user. That's it. So we're going to do just um, copy it who has one. And then we can go to our model to tell Laravel the relationship. We'll go to models. First of all, we'll go to um, account. And then in account model at the bottom, we tell it that it's related to just one user. User. And then get the phone record, get to the user record associated with this, with the account. All 
right? Beautiful. So we do app, it's in model, models, user. Hope you remember app, models, and we're making reference to this user. That's it. So, but we have to do the same thing for the user. We'll go to the user, tell it that it's related to accounts. It has only one account. Get the account record that is related with the user. All right, so models account. So an account has one uh, user and the user has one account, period. So if we now come back to our app and reload, we should see a an email. It's reloading suspense. So it turns out very interesting thing has happened. Um, because of the way we um, outline the relationship, it's using for an account uh, Laravel is looking for an account ID under users and we don't want to design our database like that. We don't want to go to the users table and add account ID and then go to account ID and add user ID. It's kind of um, a little redundant. So we're going to um, partly adjust the relationship here. For instance, we can now say we can do a one to many. One to many, um, not, not really. Like, um, yeah, one to many makes sense. Or we use it belongs to one to many. So we, we're just looking for a belongs to relationship. Um, that is uh, one to many inverse belongs to. So um, an account belongs to a user. That's the better um, way to describe it. A user has one account, but an account belongs to a user. So we get back to this. And under accounts, instead of has one, we can say belongs to. So that way, Laravel wouldn't go to user stable and start looking for account ID. So let's go and cross check that what we just did made sense. We reload. Beautiful. So I um, hope you understand what happens now. What happened now? Um, if an account belongs to a user, so Laravel doesn't go to user stable searching for account ID. No. But if we used has one, Laravel will go to user stable and start looking for account ID. On the other in the other um on the other account user has one account so laravel automatically goes to the accounts table and starts searching for user id which is present that's why we're not seeing any error so this makes sense for us the vozala that's the email and then the balance we need to quickly add the dollar signs and um where are we going to see them on the accounts we go to accounts and we go to table and then there are dollar signs for these guys. So the dollar sign for balance, dollar sign for total credit, dollar sign for total debit. And um, that is beautiful. So refresh. And um, there might be just one or two other things we have to do, but let's do it in the next video.